my PHP tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to um, use post and get variables. So, first thing I'm going to do is open up NetBeans as usual and XAMPP. It's like XAMPP. Oh, it's already started, okay. It's like XAMPP. Once so that's started, uh, NetBeans load up. Let's load up um, the My First Project project in NetBeans. Okay, so last time I was working with databases, so I just set up a very simple database here. Um, test database, okay. Um, <coughs> so, I'm going to leave the require of the config there, which includes the configuration file for the database credentials. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make a simple form in PHP. So, print, um, so you want the form tags, method equals small. I'll show you post variables first. Um, so that's a very simple form, just create in here. Very simple HTML. So I'm not like the best form in the world, but it's okay for demonstration purposes. Uh, we've got to give um, each of our input fields a name. This is how um, PHP knows how to identify each field. So I'm going to call this field um, name. So name equals name. Um, and I'm going to put a submit button. Just do a uh, new line character and a submit button here. You can either go input type equals submit. Value is what appears in the box. In the um, the button, sorry. So if I now open up my local test server and then go slash my. Okay. It's no. Oh, okay. That's not a submit one. Oh, tie. That's one. Right. Okay. Now I've got a submit button. Uh, so you can activate base. Comment that out for now. Don't need to know that. Okay, so here I'm just going to put a um, some title text, h2 tag, form, blah blah, so now we've got a um, text box and a submit button. If you look at that page refreshes because it submits form, but the form doesn't do anything yet. So I'm going to have here, I'm going to go uh, name. field with name in it and submit button. Okay, so above this code I'm going to put um, an if statement. Uh, if I name this submit button, go name equals submit button. So that is now the identifier of this button here, is the name. Um, okay. So now I need an if statement above this. Well, it doesn't have to be above this code, but um, it's where I tend to put it. So if okay, and we're going to use is set, which checks if a variable has been set or not. So we're going to go post. This is how you reference all post data. Dollar sign underscore post in capital letters, and then it's it's an array. Um, so you open up um, uh, the square brackets to reference an element of the array. And so this, the element of the submit button is going to be submit button. So the way this code works is, if is set post submit button, it basically means this form has been submitted and this button has been clicked. You can also go if is set um, name, for example. It would um, still be set because the form has been submitted. So, well, I tend to use the buttons to uh, check if it's set or not. Um, so if is set submit button, then we know the form has been submitted. Um, and then we can get date. We can get the name that's been submitted by uh, using name equals post name, because again, the name is the identifier here. Uh, big problem in PHP is user input cannot be trusted ever. Um, if you plan on using, um, if you planned on using 
uh, the name in a MySQL query, uh, you've got to escape it. You, uh, MySQL real escape string. Uh, this helps prevent um, MySQL injection, uh, well, SQL injection attacks. Um, so you need to make sure you always escape the string because a user could put whatever they want in there. They could put SQL code in, and escape it, and all sorts. So if you don't escape your code, then um, you're going to have problems uh, with people trying to inject into the database. Um, if you're going to display the form on a page, you might also want to use um, HTML entities and uh, stri uh, and strip tags and the like. So you might say now it calls uh, strip tags, which will um, strip HTML tags from a string. So you might want to go strip tags name because um, well, okay. Um, once I've got name, I can print name. So if I go print name, it should now print my name above the. F in fact, I'll make it an else. So I'll put the else statement. Um, so the form will be submit will only show if the form hasn't been submitted. So if the form hasn't been submitted. The form. Um, if the form hasn't been submitted, the form will show. So if I now type in Eddie, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> Something's happened. Oh, that's why. Okay, Eddie. Form submitted if is set submit button. Else print the form. Okay, let's do some debugging. Okay, so what's happening here? Oh, okay. That's why. So let me. It's got to put uh, escape the um, quotation mark there. So now Eddie. Form gets submitted and it outputs Eddie because that's what I put in the checkbox uh, in the um, input field. So it gets my name from the post data. It um, escape it, um, it. MySQL escapes um, the string that that I've input, and then it strips all HTML and PHP tags. If I took this out, um, the strip tags part, it should allow me to then type HTML code. So I might type. Um, Span style equals. Will this escape it? I don't know. In fact, I could um, type in h1 eddy. H1. And because I'm not stripping the tags, that is output using HTML, um, with, with the HTML. So now if I put in with the strip tags again, it should take out those h1 tags that I've input and just display eddy. There we go. Um, so you may want to let your users um, use HTML, in which case you shouldn't use strip tags. Um, but in most cases, you're not really going to want your users to um, be allowed to use strip tags. They could also um, use uh, cross-site um, scripting attacks, putting in JavaScript that uh, you know, and sending information about your users to to their website. It's, um, there's a lot of security issues you need to think about. Um, so that's post, that's very simple. Um, input field in post. Uh, you can also say something like um, if statements here, like um, if empty post a name print error your user name was I just now submit the form. Error, your name is empty. So that's a way of um, making sure, you know, um, you've got to make sure you use, you check that the input that the user's given you is valid. Um, yep. So, yeah, as I say, if I, if I was going to use that name data in a, in a um, SQL query, you've got to remember to escape it. That's, 
uh, one of the most basic principles of um, one of the most basic security uh, things you need to worry about in PHP. Um, I'll now show you get. Now, the difference between post and get is post isn't sent in the URL. You don't see anything here. It's sent uh, sort of behind the scenes. Get variables, however, appear in the URL. Um, so, okay, so I'll get rid of all this code. Okay, so if I, for example, put um, um, you um, you start or get from as we made question mark. So, get um, name equals Eddie. What that does is that has wait, is it indexed on PHP? Uh, what have we done? Oh, come on. What that does is that puts the I don't need to put index on PHP there, but it's just for clarity. The get variable of name now has the value of Eddie. So if I now go um if get this is how you access get variables, very similar to post. Um, so if get name uh, is set, so if is set get name, um, then name equals. I'm going to escape the string again just for good practice. Uh, I'm going to escape the string, and then we want to print name. Should print Eddie. So that is a different way of sending data to a web page. We are now putting it in the URL as a get variable. If we wanted to add more than one get uh, variable, we can say use the and sign, the ampersand, and um, um, what can we put? And country equals United Kingdom. Probably, no, let's just call it UK so don't put space and complicate things. So. Now I've got two get variables, name and country. Um, I'm not doing anything with country yet, so I can now go. Um, uh, what can I go so now? If do another if statement. If is uh, get country. Then country equals my school. Escape string. So you just type that. Get country. Print country. Yeah, in the UK, let's just put a bit of space in between there. So. BR tags, new lines. In the UK. And that's what I put in here. So it's very simple get and post variables in PHP. Um, let's just try putting some HTML in there, see if that works. Yes, so again, you might want to strip tags. Very simple. Name equals strip tags. You also might want um, strip tags. Name. And now, even though I put h1 tags in here, they're stripped in the code, so we don't see the HTML. So that is a very, very quick and simple introduction as to how to use get and post variables in um, PHP. Remember that get variables are stored in the URL in this format. The first, um, the first get variable needs a question mark in front of it from the file name, which is index of PHP. So question mark name. So name is then the key for the get variable. And Eddie is the value, so name equals Eddie. And if you want to add more, you put an ampersand or an and sign afterwards. So and country equals, and you can go on this for ages. So you can go and date of birth equals blah blah blah. And um, I don't know. Uh, 
I can't even think of what to add, but you can you can you can get the gist of that. You just keep adding end signs. But if you're storing taking passwords and stuff, using get is never a good idea, you should always use post because you never want to put data like that in the URL that anyone can see. Um so in that case I, I personally would use post. Um so yeah, that's a very, very quick tutorial as to how to use get and post data in PHP. And as you can see also, if um, I get rid of the the get string, there's now nothing output on the page. That's because, well actually there should be a new line character. Yeah, there. New line. If I view source. Um, because of here. But it's not, um, there's no get variables, so it's not set. So none of this if code, uh, uh, none of this code in the if statement gets ran. So yeah, that's say um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll um, start making some more tools soon as to how to um, make full systems. For example, how to make a login system. Um, yeah.